throne. For too long, a tyrant has sat upon it. But now... The main must recognize you as the heir of Anequina. But the people already cheer your name. A word, Five Claw. Finally, this palace is a labyrinth. Did I miss anything? Amira's parents would be proud of how she has stepped forward in these dark times. Moons, I am proud of her. While Kamira gathers her thoughts, the rest of us have work to do. Tell me, what happened in the palace? We killed Euraxia, but Dalado died, and the dragons and the necromancers are still working together. You bring news both welcome and grim. But we can neither celebrate a victory nor mourn the good captain until later, I fear. We need to determine why the dragons are willing to associate with wielders of dark magic. I heard them mention a moon gate to the southwest. Cal Granted seems interested in this place. Could they be interested in the moon gate of Anequina? It lies in that direction. I wonder if this pertains to Euraxia's final order. A soldier mentioned it after we captured her, but she refused to elaborate. Maybe you can help Tharn find out more. I'll help Abner and Tharn determine the significance of Euraxia's final order. Even now, Abner Tharn searches through the documents in the royal study, seeking <coughs> information concerning this final order. Despite his show of indifference, Euraxia was his half-sister. Her death is bound to affect him. I suggest that you tread warily. You're worried about Abner Tharn? Worried? No. That would imply I had any feelings toward the man whatsoever. I'd say I'm more concerned that his nonchalant attitude toward his sister's death might be hiding his true emotions. I trust that he's here to help. But he's still a Tharn. Gotcha. When you look at the world as lines on a map, it all seems so small and insignificant. I was trying to determine the meaning of this document, but so far the secret eludes me. I came to offer my help. Did you find anything about Euraxia's final order? I found a letter, but it's not complete. Looks like a scribe's dictation. I've been searching for more, but I haven't made much progress through the royal stacks. With your help, perhaps the search will go more quickly. Tell me about the dictated letter you found. It alludes to an order Euraxia was preparing to deliver shortly before our assault on the palace. It mentions a Captain S the Cygnus Irregulars, and a favor for the dragons, but gives no indication as to who they are or what the favor might be. About your half-sister. We did what had to be done. Think no more about it. If you hadn't ended Euraxia, I certainly would have. Now, look around and see if you can find anything pertaining to this unfinished letter. I'm sure it refers to Euraxia's final order. I'll see what I can find. This study contains documents from when the Khajiit ruled Rimen, as well as papers that cover the span of Euraxia's rule. So many, many papers. She was a prolific writer, I'll give her that. At least she didn't destroy her files before she died. What should I be looking for again? Anything pertaining to this so-called final order. While we're looking around, let's see if we can find anything that mentions the dragons, the necromancers, or anything significant. Who knows? We might uncover something unexpectedly helpful. Okay. And if you want to read it, pause it.
To Her Exalted Majesty Queen Euraxia, this report summarizes my conclusions concerning the dragons that have made their presence known throughout the northern elsewhere. The dragon, that calls itself Mulamanar, defers to an even more powerful creature known as Calagrutid. He has provided dragons to support our efforts against the Kahiti rebels. These massive beasts have been instrumental in many of our victories, just as you predicted. If only we could convince Manamanar to lead us more than a single creature at a time, lend us more than a single creature at a time, we could retake control of the entire region. Unfortunately, the dragon seems incapable or unwilling to discern a difference between our troops and the enemy. They take no care to avoid friendly casualties and seem to re to seem and seem to revel in destruction no matter the target. I fear our control of these creatures is hap hap haphazard at best. My recommendation follows: order Melominar to instruct the dragons to obey the chain of command. Weapons work best when we can maintain complete control over their actions. Also, we must perform a service for the dragons to seal our alliance. I suggest we send an assassination squad to eliminate the last dragon guard believed to be hiding in the elsewhere wilderness. Centaurian Jagus, royal strategist to the queen. Control dragons? What folly. But what was that about killing the last dragon guard? Old Khajiiti legends and rumors of a last dragon guard. Intriguing. Your Royal Majesty, my trained squad of elite assassins is ready to perform whatever services you require. However, since my assassins are few in number, it would be prudent to provide us with support in the form of auxiliary troops. If I may be so bold, I suggest granting me with an authority to command and commandeer soldiers from the Cygnus Irregulars. I need to stop at Sandswirl Manor anyway to collect Prefect. Kalo's report on the last dragon guard. Besides, any chance to stick a knife into that haughty imperial always appeals to me. He considers my mercenaries to be inferior to his troops, and I hate him for that. Captain Solania. Captain Solinia. That must be Captain S. And the Cygnus Irregulars are imperial troops under the command of Prefect Kalo at Sandswirl Manor. I think you found everything I need to fill in the blanks. Let's talk. The documents you uncovered allow me to make sense of this unfinished dictation. I believe I now know the contents of Euraxia's final order. So what was Euraxia's final order? Euraxia ordered Captain Sorlinia to assassinate a dragon guard in an effort to appease the dragons. Solinia plans to commandeer as many additional soldiers as necessary from Prefect Kalo at Sanswell Manor and retrieve a report. Dragon Guard? I don't understand. Neither do I, at least not fully. The Dragon Guard were the sworn protectors of the Imperial Emperor. At least they were until they fell out of favor. Euraxia has ordered her assassins to murder what she claims to be the last Dragon Guard. The last Dragon Guard? Don't ask me. The Dragon Guard I knew failed to protect the potentates and were disbanded in disgrace. They claimed to have descended from legendary Akaviri dragon hunters. But that's all it was. A legend. We need to get to Sanswell Manor. I'll head to Sanswell Manor and find Prefect Carlo as soon as I can. We can't take any chances. Euraxia's final order directs her assassins to murder the last dragon guard. If the dragons consider this threat real, we need it on our side. 
Meet me west of the city, on the outskirts of Sanswell Manor. Do you know anything about Captain Solania or Prefect Carlo? Kalo is mentioned in Garesh Ree's intelligence reports. He commands a garrison of troops in an estate seized when they conquered the region. As for Solinia, I've never heard of her. But an assassination squad, they're never a good thing. All right. Are the people of Rimen cowards? They're just afraid, Chimera. Remember, the dragon's still dark in the skies overhead. But we need to replenish our forces. I fear there are more battles ahead. You carry the weight of the kingdom, Chimera. But the crown is not yet yours. Yes, yes. I must be recognized by the main and queen Eren. Which reminds me, has the Dominion sent us any aid? A few advisors, some gold, but no troops. We are on our own. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Rigert knew he should have brought more mead. You know, while I'm here, it's time to upgrade my mount. There are many varieties of... Approaching Sands World Manor.
An imperial garrison housed in a Khajiiti estate. My half-sister spared no expense, I see. Prefect Kalo commands a full complement of soldiers, mostly seasoned Imperials and not the Nibbanese mercenaries that make up Euraxia's main forces. It's probable that Sorlinia and her assassination squad is here as well, so I advise caution. You think we'll have to fight our way in? I prefer to avoid unnecessary bloodshed, of course, but these are enemy forces. We must do what we must to complete our mission. I'll work my way down from the upper levels of the house. You find your own entrance and we'll meet somewhere inside. All right, I'll meet you inside the manor house. Try not to alert the entire garrison to our presence, and keep an eye out for Captain Sorlinia or anything related to Euraxia's final order. We need to determine where the assassination squad plans to strike if we're going to save the Dragon Guard. And tell me more about this Dragon Guard. As I said, the Dragon Guard I knew were the Emperor's protectors. I suspect this has more to do with legends that speak of their role as dragon hunters of old. Ah, idle speculation isn't going to accomplish anything. If I were younger... Your age? Is that what's bothering you? I feel the weight of my years, and it gets worse the longer this goes on. In my younger days, I would have already corralled the dragons and banished the necromancers to a forgotten plane of oblivion. Enough of this. I'll meet you inside. All right, but just letting you know, being discreet is not one of my strong suits. One of Kalo's pet cats. Time to make me a fur coat.
Okay, what am I missing? Because there was another guy here and he already... That's what I'm missing. So I said these assassins got me in the gut, found a place to hide but don't have long, checked the well, hit a key in the bucket, unlocked cellar door in the stable. That's your way to Kalo and the rest of the irregulars. I always loved you. I always loved you too. How good of you to join me. Let's talk. We need to speak quickly. I doubt I'll remain undiscovered for very long. You really like to show off your magic, don't you? This projection? A simple spell. Nothing to it, really. But that's not what I want to discuss. I'm hiding in an empty servant's quarters at the moment. I discovered that Prefect Kalo is no longer in charge here. In fact, he's been arrested. Why would the Iraxians arrest one of their own officers? That's the thing. Prefect Kalo isn't really one of the Iraxians. His cohort of Imperials accompanied my half-sister into Rimen, but he's been a vocal opponent of her coup and subsequent claim of rulership. Apparently, he refused another order. Where are they holding Prefect Kalo? Kalo's probably being held at one of the lower levels. See if you can find him. He should be able to tell us more about the Dragon Guard and Solinia's orders. Wait a moment. I'm about to have company. I'll find my way to you as soon as I can. All right. I'll try to find Prefect Cable.
No, I didn't want to go back down. Interesting. You're not one of Euraxia's mercenaries. I'm Prefect Kayla, commander of the Cygnus Irregulars. And you're that outsider working with the Khajiiti militia. I expected you hours ago. Well, let's not dawdle. You have an assassination squad to stop, I assume, so if you'd open my cell. How do you know who I am? It's elementary. I pay attention to every significant event that occurs in the region. It comes with my job description. I have agents, spies, and informers from Riverhold to Rimmon. The dossier on you could choke a Wamasu. Now, about this door... First, tell me why they locked you in that cell. I'm an Imperial without an Emperor. My cohort was assigned to accompany Euraxia on a fact-finding mission. She turned it into a conquest. I tried to temper her more violent tendencies, but her mercenaries outnumber my legionaries by a wide margin. So why lock you up now? I refused to direct order. Wouldn't give Solinia my soldiers or my file on the last Dragon Guard. So, here I am. How about this? You can find a copy of the report in my office. If the information it contains helps you, then come back and set me free. You seem unusually willing to cooperate with an ally of the rightful Kahiti Queen. I'm a reasonable man. I have no great love for this land, but neither do I want to see it destroyed. Dragons were the last straw. In other words, this is me making a stand. You can find a copy of the Dragon Guard report in my office upstairs. And tell me about Captain Salini. She burst into my office with orders from Euraxia, demanded I provide soldiers to support her assassination squad, then commanded that I turn over my file on this so-called last Dragon Guard. I politely refused both requests, and she had me arrested. What's an assassination squad? An elite unit of mercenaries. They're rabid dogs that Euraxia points at her enemies. They like to kill, and they're extremely good at it. With the urging of the dragons, she pointed them at their current target, the so-called Last Dragon Guard. That was uh, Eurexia's final order. She issued it right before I killed her. Conquer Rimmon? Euraxia was sent on imperial business to a province that owed us fealty. There was no reason to conquer a place we historically controlled. No. She decided to make her own play for power while Emperor Varen was otherwise engaged. And you went along with that? It was complicated. Look, our quick visit turned into an invasion. Euraxia contracted an army of Nibbanese mercenaries to back her up. And then the Emperor disappeared and his empire collapsed. We were stuck here without orders or assistance. If you want to read it, pause it. I see you found the report. Now we can continue our conversation without being separated by those inconvenient bars. Ah, there you are. And I see you've captured Prefect Kalo. I presume he surrendered without a fight. Don't look so shocked. 
My irregulars are very good at what they do. It was simple enough for them to sneak in and set me free. Now, what did you learn from the report? Anything that will help us stop Captain Selenia and her assassination squad? Us? Why would you want to help stop the, ass the assassination of the Dragon Guard? As I said, we were never willing participants in Euraxia's conquest of Northern Elsewhere. My irregulars did as little as possible to advance her agenda, and we worked to sabotage it as often as not. Besides, have you forgotten about the dragons? And what about the dragons? The dragons won't stop after they kill or subjugate the Khajiit. We're in as much danger as everyone else. If Lord Garesh Ri pardons my soldiers, we'll help fight the dragons. But we're going to need the Dragon Guard. Do you know where he is? The report suggests that the last Dragon Guard is hiding in the Aber in an Aberary Akaberry Shrine in the Scar. These freaking names. Grand Chancellor, I propose that you get Garesh Ri to pardon the Cygnus Irregulars so we can form an alliance. An alliance? Interesting. Comrades would be helpful in the battles to come. I'll return to Rimmon, plead Kalo's case, and send someone to help you. Meanwhile, I suggest you start your search for the shrine at the Stitches. Okie dokie. So, getting out of here is not going to be easy. Okay. didn't assign me to the assassination squad. I wonder. You'd think she was possessed or something. Alright, I know I'm going the wrong way, but it's... I'm closer to a way shrine than I am to my destination, and my destination's right next to another way shrine, so it just makes sense to go to this way shrine. Understand?
stitches waist ring. Tarn sent Samarak to assist you against the Euraxian officer Saulinia and her assassins. The locals say that a group matching their description passed through here a short time ago. Tarn explained that we seek a hidden Akaviri shrine. Saulinia has orders to kill someone they believed in the last Dragon Guard. Saulinia, the assassin who murdered King Hemakar and Queen Numara. Zamarak heard that name often on the day of Euraxia's coup. Perhaps this one can finally get justice for the royal family. Did you face Captain Solomon back then? No. Zamarak was guarding Kamira that day. We were far from the palace. Anyway, this one learned that the local crime lord provided Saulinia with guides who know the scar well. We must hurry if we hope to catch them. Let's go stop the assassination squad. The Scar can be a treacherous place, Five Claw, even without the addition of a Nibbanese assassination squad. We need to hurry, but we should also proceed with caution. Tell me about your time in King's Claw. King Hamakar saw something in Zamarak. He specifically requested this one during a visit to the Desert Wind. Zamarak set aside his studies and devotions to become the King's Claw. I pledged my life to keep the royal family safe. But you weren't able to stop Euraxia from killing the royal family? No. Kamira wanted to visit the Desert Wind Adeptorium. This one was tasked to guard her. So, Zamarak was not in the palace when Euraxia and her troops arrived. They were welcomed as emissaries of the Emperor. But they were lions about to pounce. At least you were able to get Cam Calamar to safe safety. A small success in an avalanche of failure. Guilt consumed Zamarak because he lived and the royal family died. So this one exiled himself from the land he loved and traveled the world. This one sought... What? Peace. Forgiveness. Something. Why did Abner Tharn send you to help me? Truthfully, Zamarak almost refused when Tharn gave the order. This one has only just reclaimed the mantle of King's Claw and was reluctant to leave Queen Kamira's side. But you needed help, and Zamarak was best suited to aid you in this endeavor. Did Abner Tharn present Prefect Kalo to Kalamar? Kalamara? Yes, but Zamarak isn't sure if anything good will come of their meeting. When this one departed, Queen Kamira and Lord Gareshri were engaged in a heated discussion with Tarn over the risks and benefits of trusting an Imperial. What should I know before we enter the Scar? The Scar was carved across the face of Anequina in the ancient past. Some say Kunzari is responsible. Others, that Alkosh himself marked the land with his claws. Things live in... All right. Enough of that. <clears throat> Track down the assassination squad. Oh, shit. Watch your first step. Careful where you flaunt your wealth, Walker. You are a tempting prize indeed.
That body, it's one of the assassins. They must have passed this way. More bodies. The hired guides. Saulinia's work, Samurak thinks. The guides from the stitches. We must be close. Saulinia had them killed because she no longer needed them, and she wanted to keep whatever secrets they learned along the way. The hidden Akaviri shrine must be nearby. Hurry, but be cautious. Hidden, huh? It's gotta be above us. Look! There is a door behind these stones. No. Nope. Is this the place we seek? Yes, it is. That door. Not even all of Zamarak's strength and training can budge a magical barrier. Maybe the pedestal. The pedestal maintains the magical barrier, but Zamarak does not know how. Find the Dragon Guard, or his blood won't be the only thing that stains my blade this day. The assassins. That came from the south. We must hurry, Five Claw. The assassins. They stalk the southern passages. We must hurry. There may be another way past this door, deeper in the complex. Should we try Whatever to open Whatever has been hiding behind that door for all these years can wait a little longer. We need to deal with the assassins. They are the most pressing threat. Traps. They stopped some of the assassins, but not all of them. We must be ready.
Come, this one can mend your wounds. The assassins, they stalk the southern passages. We must hurry. There may be another way past this door, deeper in the complex. The assassins, they stole. Hide from us forever, Dragon Guard. You couldn't find an Alfik in Alabaster, Euroxian dolt. That was the Dragon Guard. We're running out of time. Almost there. Another maze. We must find a way to the other side. Good.
Once I select a target, it always dies. I trained to fight dragons. This isn't going to end the way you expect. That was pretty much how I expected it to end. Not sure what he was talking about. your pain. Damn. Dude, you need to buff your freaking healing. Take two. Oh, good. More blood to spill. Samarak's aura can destroy the wheel. Come, this one can mend your wounds. I refuse to die. Near that assassin. Maybe now the royal family can rest in peace. Thank you, Five Claw. With Saulinia dead, maybe the royal family can finally rest in peace. The Dragon Guard ran through that door, but he was wounded. We should help him. Are you all right, Zamorak? Zamorak. There was a heaviness on Zamorak's soul. Now it disperses like sand in the wind. Still, this one promised to find a new path. But these events just returned him to the same one he walked before. You help bring the killer of the royal family of Anna Queen to justice. Yes, but Zamarak believed his previous life of violence caused those deaths. His studies and meditations told him this was so. Now, with Saulinia's death, Zamarak feels... lighter. It feels good, but it also feels like a betrayal of the desert wind. Stick to your teaching, Zamarak. Violence shouldn't be the answer. You are right, Five Claw. Violence is never the best way to solve a problem. It only leads to grief. As the adepts say, when an enemy strikes you on the right, also offer him your left. But these musings are missed. Let us check on the Dragon Guard. Yes, let's do that.
Dude, you okay? Dude. Oh, damn assassin. She knew her stuff. I saw her fall, though. Thanks for that. After all these years, why do I suddenly have so much company? Dragons have returned. Euraxia sent the assassin, the assassin because she thought you knew how to stop them. I know about the dragons. I sent word to the other sanctuaries. Other sanctuaries? I thought you were the last dragon guard. The last? I didn't think so. But no one else has responded. Maybe... No. I know at least one other is still out there. He'll come. He has to. Is there really is there really a way to stop the dragons? Take my ring. It will open the sanctuary. Find the dragon horn. You have to. Have to. Dragon Guard Orlin? May Kenarthi guide you to the sands behind the stars. Below. That looks like Prefect Kalo. What is he doing here? There you are. We came as soon as we could. Were you able to stop Captain Selenia and her assassins? Selena is dead, but so is the Dragon Guard. Did Camarilla accept your terms of alliance? Both dead? Selenia deserved it. Shame about the Dragon Guard, though. And yes, it took some convincing and Tharn's most diplomatic negotiation tactics, but Queen Chimera has accepted our help. Provisionally. Provisionally? The Cygnus Irregulars are on probation. For now. Once Queen Chimera sees us in action, I'm sure she'll come around. Until then, I wanted to make sure you were alright. Beating Selenia is no small feat. I'm sorry we lost the Dragon Guard, though. The Dragon Guard gave me a key to a sanctuary. We were on our way to retrieve a Dragon Horn. A Dragon Horn? Like the one at Starhaven Adaptorium? Huh. Well, if you think this old relic can help, lead the way. The barrier has fallen. Let us see what awaits within. Are these the remains of the Dragon Guard? Books and scrolls. I knew it. Knowledge is power, my friend. You'll see. Unfortunately, none of these bookshelves can be read or searched. So... Wow, thought this horn was going to be something I just put in my pocket. Do not hesitate, my friend. Let us collect the dragon horn and be done with this place. Yeah, you carry it. 
such a small thing when compared to the dragons. Still, we should take it to Rimen, yes? All right, it's just a tip. Just a tip. I want to take another look at these books. We'll meet you back in Rimen. Zamarak will linger as well, to make sure the Imperials find their way back. Dragon. Oh yeah, they're fighting a dragon. Yeah. Might as well participate on it while I'm here. Shrine back to Rimen Palace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
happening again? I see... I, I see... A dragon? Cadwell? Cadwell? What was that about a dragon? Ah, there you are. See to Cadwell, if you would. Then join us in the throne room for the war council. Uh, hello? Is, is someone there? I appear to be back in my head. Well, the, 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 my other head. The other head. This is so confusing. Ah, wait, wait. Things are becoming clearer now. Ah, yes, well, uh, there you are. Oh, so good to see you again, my friend. Cadwell, what did you see? I saw that nasty orc necromancer, Zumog Foom. He really is a despicable fellow. And there was a dragon, a huge, powerful, eyes as big as a house dragon. They called it Karl Grunted, means champion of the bound time. How do I know these things? Did you see or hear anything else? Well, yes, I did. Seems the ears are as connected as the eyes. They talked about the moons, something about an eclipse and the perfect time to use the gate. I remember something about that from when I was the betrayer, but the details are hazy. Your memories of your life are returning? My memory returns in dribs and drabs, but I'm not sure that's a good thing. If I remember anything helpful, though, I'll let you know. Where are my manners? They're waiting for you. Queen Kamira has called another war council in the throne room. Do you know what the war council is meeting about? Not a clue, but I know one way to find out. Head inside and see what the Cat Queen has to say. Well, that makes absolute perfect sense. The archives were extremely helpful once I found the appropriate documents. Our moon singers and moon priests have always paid particular attention to detail. What did you learn? Tharn found documents regarding an ancient agreement with the Dragon Guard. They apparently provided a weapon to use against the dragons. This relates to the legends of Kunsari and Queen Anequina, yes? Pardon the interruption, Queen Chimera, but that sounds like the dragon horn we found. That Dragon Guard didn't survive. But he gave us the Anequina Dragonhorn. So this alliance I reluctantly agreed to has borne fruit. The Cygnus Irregulars assisted, but your agent did the important work. A weapon from the Dragon Guard. Interesting. Come, Five Claw. I want to hear your report. Agreeing to an alliance with Imperials. At least it appears this Prefect Kalo assisted you. Tell me what happened out there, Five Claw. I want to hear it from you. The assassin killed the Dragon Guard, but we did acquire the Anaquina Dragonhorn. So that is the Dragonhorn. It is much smaller than I thought it would be, and it looks fragile. Sound it once and it will probably crumble to dust. What are we supposed to do with such a thing? As always, you have my thanks, Five Claw. Oh, two-handed Imperial Sword. Part of a set. Nice. Too bad I can't use it. Euraxia hoped to appease the dragons by assassinating the last dragon guard of elsewhere. He died. But at least you acquired the Anequina Dragonhorn and avenged his death. Now, if we only knew what to do with the damn thing. It makes noise like any other horn, right? I know how a horn works, Five Claw, but this is a relic of ancient magic. I do not want to damage it before we learn the true significance of its power. I will have Tarn do more research. In the meantime, we have another matter to deal with. <laughs> 